Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Darkwood, which is a game that I think I've gotten a request for per day for about a year and a half now. I've held off on playing it because I knew that I would want to do a full series on it. It's quite a deep game from what I understand. I think if you want to do a full playthrough of it, it's going to take, you know, seven, eight, ten hours or something like that. And it's a top-down survival horror game. Not typically something that does very well on YouTube, or in particular, my channel. So I just haven't done it. But I will be doing this video at least, at least this video, which is going to be a first impressions video. Just see what it's like. And I've heard it's very good. It has very positive reviews on Steam. And I'm excited to check it out. So, sorry, I, I, you could probably feel the tension in the air right now because like I said, I get a comment about this game like once per day for about a year and a half, and after a while it's just like... Fine! Fine, I'll play it! Alright, let's go ahead and check it out. Oh yeah, something different Saturday, that's what this is. Slightly different. It's still a horror game, but it's a little different than what I usually play. You're playing a challenging and unforgiving game. Great. You will not be led by the hand. Respect the woods. Be patient. Focus. Got it. I'm very patient, and I respect the woods a whole lot, so... <laughs> Alright, here's the prologue. I gotta move my microphone closer for a more dramatic voiceover. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. Okay. Can I buy the film rights? Great story. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed. Wow, what a bright ray of sunshine. Wonder why you're trapped in the woods. Couldn't be your attitude. All right, here we are in Darkwood. We can we can drag the chair around with us if we want, although I don't know why we would want to do that. Let's search the table. We can pick up our old notepad, which has nothing on it. Great. You said it's your old notepad? Why didn't you write anything on it? We'll also take a pill and just just gonna put it in our inventory. Uh, medical notes. Examine. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. <laughs> I guess you're good at memorizing. Alcohol distiller. A homemade device for producing moonshine. Uh, let's open this one door. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was our entire house. The generator is almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. Hmm. We need some supplies. It's time to go out scrounging for them. But first, let's search this chair. Oh, there's actually things in it. There's a camera. Which, I guess, will take this. Uh, my old medical bag, which doesn't get a close-up. <laughs> and a photo. Okay. Great photo of something. I hear a... I hear a door opening and shutting. Cage. Cages. This time they're empty. This time? What did you have in them before? Open the metal door. I would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. Is there something you're keeping from me? Lock who in there? My tools. They haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyway. I see. So what do you use those tools for? You can only select and interact with objects within your reach. Okay. I've just woken up. 
<laughs> so, go back to bed. Radio Unitra. The radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. Yeah, 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 you know the notes by heart, but yeah, you keep them around. What we got here? We got all sorts of stuff. Key, I'll open the front door to my house with this. <laughs> Great, let's take it. My medical book. Look at this very professional medical book. It's got all sorts of photographs and charts. Two boards. I guess we'll take that. Why don't I just take all this stuff? Rag. So I got rags, alcohol, and matches. Hmm. I best not enter this room right now. Why is surgery in progress? All right, let's go outside. Ooh, I can run. Locked, I think I left the key in the wardrobe. If the cursor has a plus icon next to it, you can hold left mouse button to open the selected object's action menu. Oh, so I can barricade the door or I can open it. Let's open it. Sorry, use key, that's what I meant. All right, but don't we want to also lock it, right? Can we lock it? We can't lock it. Okay, well fine. I, I hope nobody breaks into my home. A large humanoid doll with a carved out face. Why do you have this in your front yard? This is your house, isn't it? I hear a dog. Oh, <gasps> I don't like this. My dog, I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Um, I'd love to. Oh. Destroyed well. Press space to vault over obstacles like fences or windows. Wait, wait, wait. We found a rope in the destroyed well. We should take that. So, from what I understand, this game is also a, a uh, roguelike? So I guess, but I don't know to what extent it is. I don't know if like you die, you start over, but you have all the items from before, or you can gain some permanent buffs, or or what the deal is with that. Okay, let's just uh, let's just go. Press tab to access your inventory. Drag the axe to the hot bar to equip it. Uh, say what? The axe? Am I supposed to have an axe? Oh. Container. Examine. Use lockpick? Search. Why, why, why don't you have a key for this? I don't have any lockpicks. Oh, great. My 125P. The People's Tribune. A daily newspaper. Okay. Oh, here's the axe. Okay, I picked it up. Now, I'll put the axe into the one slot. Okay, with weapons selected in your hotbar, hold right mouse button to take aim. Then press left mouse button while I mean to attack. We've broken through. The trees are growing too fast. Soon I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. Bear trap. Pick up? Let me look at it first. Snare chats must be careful. The woods are full of them. Pick up. Dead cow. Oh, you left a bone here, dude. Must not be that hungry. <laughs> Don't you eat bones, bro? Okay, so here's my map. Um, this is where the wood was chopped, and I guess we're over here now? Or, I don't know. Location found. Path. Okay, that's where we are. I'm here. Gotcha. So we gotta go down. So, like I said, I'm walking in completely blind. I have no idea what I'm doing. The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. This is getting pretty narrow here. Hi, crows. 
Man, this flashlight's powerful. I like it a lot. That's the fallen tree, okay. So am I just scrounging for food, or what am I doing? Burned campfire. To immediately transfer items between inventories, hold left control or left shift when clicking on it. Cool. Okay, I got lots of rags. Is there like a crafting menu, or? These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Okay, hang on. Oh, here's the crafting menu. So... There are two types of torches. One of them is like a gas torch, I guess. And this one... Well, let's just get it. Cool. Alright, let's take out the torch. Oh, I see my axe has a durability. Don't like that. Location found. Abandoned house. Where is it? Is it over here? Let's examine the corpse. In a few days it will be completely absorbed. Absorbed? Like by the woods? Close. Good news, I found more rags. Bad news, I gotta leave some behind. <laughs> more rags. Doorway repair? I don't think we need to do that. This is an abandoned house. We're sure as hell not gonna adopt it. I'm not staying here, are you kidding me? Well, that was me. That twig snap, that was me. I did that. Okay, so you can't see things unless you put light on it. So that means things could sneak up on me, I guess. What is this? It appears to be an injured fellow. I think this one is still breathing. Unconscious man. Well, I found a big metal key on him. Let's just take it. If there's an exit out of these woods, this key will surely open it. It says 21 on it. Guy must be a fan of Blackjack. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around before. He's only carrying a key in some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. Ah, uh, but that. Is of no importance. Are you injecting it into his eyeball? What was that shot about? Well, he looks dead now. I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how, and I will let you go. Wow. Don't you think if he knew how, he'd go too? I sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where's the exit? Dude, he doesn't know. Where? Show me where. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. I don't like the character I'm playing as. But I guess if I was trapped in this dark forsaken world, I would probably reach pretty desperate times too. Uh-oh. <gasps> he just got free. That fucker stole my key. 
wait. Now I'm playing as the guy. Hang on, I don't have anything. Let me look at the container. An entry to a small cellar, maybe the pantry. Locked, I could open it with a lock pick. I don't have a lock pick though. Barricade door, dismantle. The barricade is too strong to dismantle. Let's search the clothes. Okay, we've got a rag. Oh, sorry, rag and wire. I'm hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. Could we now? So it just takes two rags to make bandages. Let's craft that. We can also craft a lockpick with the wire. Ooh. Okay, so let's use the bandage. No, don't drop it! You dropped it, you idiot! Okay. Do I have to equip the bandages to use it? Use bandages, okay. Okay, so now I'm regenerating health slowly. Interesting. Let's use the lockpick that I just crafted. Unlocked. No unlock minigame or anything. Search. We found a flashlight. And a shovel. It's heavy, but it has good reach. Okay. Alright. Barricade door. Dismantle. Too strong to dismantle. Is there anything else I can do in here? I do have a shovel. Okay, maybe I can just hit it. Oh my gosh, we're breaking out. I think it's gonna break. The item is no longer usable, I need to repair it. But I can open the door now. Now what? He was there. He's not there anymore. It's really dark in here now. Lamp. Switch off? Didn't seem to make a difference. The wooden door has a code. Who's there? No one. Please let me out. Well, you know what? I don't trust you. Even though that guy did the same thing to me that he probably did to you. Barricaded window. I better not leave the house at night. It's safer here. Right. Let's go into... Medical tools. We got a syringe. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, no. We didn't get one. We just... We saw one. There's the radio. Switched it off. What the? What the hell? Search the wardrobe. I tried to pull up my map just now and he didn't, he didn't like that. Okay, I'm pushing this. Should I open this? What's in here? It's like a torture chamber, dude. Switch on the generator? Not right now. I think it's okay for it to be dark. Metal table, examine. A metal table with little leather belts strapped on. Alright. Okay. Crate, search. What's in the crate? Well, we've got gasoline, fuels generators. Table leg, a very sturdy table leg. It's made of oak. I can use it as a weapon. Okay, let's replace the shovel with the table leg. Okay, right? So we got that. We got a weapon now. Where did the guy go, though? To refill the generator, equip the gasoline tank. Hover your cursor over the generator. Hold right mouse button, followed by left mouse button to pour the gasoline. So let's put it at three. Okay, so three. Refill. Are we gonna use it all? Let's just get one bar. Switch on. I'm not sure if I should have done that. 
table leg. Oh! The corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open and I can hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from the radio static. What? That's not what was in here. There was a radio, wasn't there? Four eight nine two is what it says. Is that the code? Should we do it? Four eight nine two. The door seems stuck. I need to apply some force to it. Okay. There we go. It's open. Help me, it says. Who's there? Oh! Come closer! What? Uh... Hit him with the table leg. Smack him. Dead man. Plastic chick. A small plastic chick. See, what does this mean? The item found. Can I- can I bring that up somehow? <laughs> Wait, I thought he was dead! And how do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Hear it? What? What's going on? Close. What the hell is going on? Oh! Oh no! I got an achievement. Finished prologue. Oh, I finished it all right. Am I dead? Chapter one. I'll be honest, I'm sucked in. I didn't think I would be. I was skeptical coming in. You guys heard the tone of my voice. You heard the tension in the air <laughs> when I did the intro. We're in the old woods, dry meadow hideout. I'm here. This is a different map, so I'm a different character now. Oven. Examine. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via the long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Examine the oven. Look at the weird bottle. You mean this thing? Or wait, this? I don't know, look at the weird bottle. The label on the bottle says, staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Warning, even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. Great. I'll stay inside forever. Examine the oven. When I arrived here a couple of days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. Look inside the pot. A small empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. These red, pulsating mushrooms. They look so tasty. 
Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. Cook. What? So I don't have anything that I can cook. This is an interesting screen though. The artwork in this game is incredible. Honestly, it's very cool. Okay, so I'm in a new house. I got it. So I guess turning the lamp on or off doesn't really matter because we don't have a generator on right now. Let's search the wardrobe. We found a rag, 11 nails, and a photo of a road. The road home. I see. Okay. Let's open this wooden door. Wait a second, does this just lead out? Oh my god, it does. Okay, well, that's fine. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the other windows. I don't know if I want to stay here. Workbench, well, I don't have any items really to use. Uh, window, barricade. Wooden planks, so I need seven nails and three wooden planks to barricade a window. Duly noted. What is that? Um, we'll stay inside for now. I heard something out there, but I'll just stay inside for now. So this window is not barricaded either. Ooh, there's like some sort of growth out there. That must be what I heard on that side, too. Bed. Anything about the bed we can use? Let's search this thing over here. Wardrobe, search. Okay, we got rope, two alcohol, two bottle, and a mushroom book. The title reads, The Use of Mushrooms in the Household. Cute. Uh... The bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was exceptionally uneventful. Ah, it's a trap for anything that tries to get in through the window? Is that gonna be something I have to worry about? So I'm playing a completely different character now than I was last time. I'm gonna come out this side. Because... I don't know what I heard on that side, but I wanna check out this shed. The generator is half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one more night. I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. Underground entrance? There's an underground entrance? Let's search this corpse. It's got a rag, two matchsticks, and a torch. I appreciate the torch. I do. Um... Night protection. You're in the hideout under the influence of the protective substance. It will help you survive the night. But like, what does that mean? So he says something about an underground entrance to the hideout. I see no way to get underground. Am I wrong? Is there a way to get underground? Okay, I'm gonna... I opened it up. Well. Build. We can build a well. We need four wooden boards, though, in order to do that. Saw. Use. Convert wood logs to planks. Minus 25 fuel. Okay. Understood. Okay, we don't know the code for that yet. That is fine. Oh, the underground entrance is right over here. Okay, so it's south. I understand. Okay, here I go. Okay, let's go south, I guess. To the underground entrance. Location found. Broken tractor. What is that? Dog? It looks like dog. Okay. Yeah, let's... Wait, it just barked at me. Is that bad? 
Gasoline. Okay. Scrap metal wire battery. Thank you. For those things. I appreciate. So right now, I mean, the only objective I have really is to go to the underground entrance, from what I can see. What happened? You are poisoned. How? How am I poisoned? What happened? Did I step on something? I don't understand. Location found, underground entrance. Where is it? Is it a little further ahead, or...? Here it is. Okay. There's a bear trap right there. I'm gonna pick that up. Disarm? This could be useful. Received item scrap metal. Oh, I didn't get the entire bear trap. I got scrap metal. Got, uh, boards? And nails. I'm gonna put the torch... ...in my hotbar. Wait, can I? Yeah, okay. So the nails go together. Okay. This is the house. I'll find the entrance to the underground here. I should probably leave this bear trap here. I, I don't know. Corpse, search. Bandages. I'd feel better with a weapon. Oh, that's evil! How dare you put that bear trap right there? Large mushrooms. Harvest? That's what these are? Got it. I received odd-looking mushroom. Okay, I gotta move the wardrobe out of the way. Get these large mushrooms, I guess. I guess it's good to have them. Underground entrance, examine. The entrance to the underground tunnels. And we want to go in there, you're telling me. Not so sure about that. Is there a map of this area? No. Is there some reason I'm in here? Because, holy crap. Let's bring out the torch. Melee weapons have a secondary attack. Try it out by pressing middle mouse button. Got it. Examine. The tunnel walls were crushed by enormous roots. Dig. Or build. What can I... Oh, okay. I need to have a shovel for this. Hmm. Backpack. A dim- a light bulb dimly lit the, uh, wet walls of the underground passage. The further part is shrouded in complete darkness. I need a light source to continue. Well, you're in luck, because I got one. Let's take the boards. Motorcycle magazine. Very cool. I also got a 9-volt battery. Okay, hang on. I do want to, uh... Let's craft this bandage, get these rags out of the way. Now let's take the 9 volt battery, because that sounds... that sounds useful. Okay, I've got a light source. I, I still don't have a weapon, though. The thick wooden posts barely hold the soaked ground in the tangled roots. The construction seems on the verge of collapse. What was that? I did that. That was me. Uh, fork in the road. Let's go in the bigger one. This part of the passage is blocked by overgrown, tangled roots. Let's go through the narrower one, then. So where's this lead, and why did we want to come here? Corpse. Nothing in there. Okay, this is all lit up. Let's keep going towards the light, then. Oh, more mushrooms. Cool. The torch went out. Thanks. 
Armored door. Locked. It's my only way out. I won't be able to open it without my key. This is the key that we got. 21. What does that mean? Look at the handle. The hatch handle is covered in a thick layer of dust. It hasn't been opened for at least two weeks. Press your ear against the keyhole. I can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. Look through the keyhole. There's just a light. Was I supposed to bring my key here? I didn't know that I had a key. So... What's going on? All the lights just went out. Is there a way I can craft a torch? Oh no, I need rags and I, I use them up making bandages. So that isn't good. Ah! Oh, it was just the freaking... You're weaker. You're poisoned. Thanks. So I'm out of light. But I think I remember the way back. It's good to know where the 21 door is, though. Wow. What the hell was... What the hell was that? Run. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Okay, so that's what's down there. Understood. Don't walk into the bear trap. That would be bad. Whew. Okay. It's time to go back to the hideout. Board with nails. Let's get it, dude. Let's craft that. And let's craft an antidote. All right. Okay, so what is going on? I can extract 40 essence from um, the mushrooms. But I don't know what that means. Location found. Burned house. Is that right over here? Here it is. Ah! Okay. I stepped in some poison, but it's okay. Destroy generator. Take the nails. What's in here? There's a metal door. Out! The truck is here! What does that mean? There's a flare here, too. Please. Locked, I need a key. So I guess... People are here. Get the fuck out! Okay, I'll- I'll leave, I'm- I'm cool. I just want to survive. I don't want any trouble. Oh. Corpse. Nails? Wire. More gasoline. No room in inventory. Well, I've already got- I've already got gasoline. I'm good on that. I'm trying to find out what to do or like where to go. I'm just gonna go south for a while, until I find something. I think I'm going along the side of the map right here. I think that's what this is. I think I'm like over here somewhere. Oop. Gotta be careful not to step on any of those poisonous mushrooms though. And I hope I don't run into anything hostile. I must return to my hideout before nightfall. Well, when is nightfall? What is that thing? 
Shiny stone, pick up. Okay, I'll return home. I don't know what that is. Okay, so it's getting to be late. Well, but what does that mean? Let's uh, see if we can barricade the window. I have just enough to barricade one window. So I'll do that. Cool. I barricaded one window. This one? Well, don't have enough wooden planks. Okay, do I go to bed? It's definitely nighttime. Okay, it says not to go outside at nighttime, right? Do I have to stand by the oven or? Wow, it's dark. Are you kidding me? You're in the hideout under the influence of the protective substance. It will help you survive the night. Uh... It is very dark at night. What? Day two. Oh! Well, the night was pretty... Brief then. I wish I had kind of moved around a little bit more. I was just kind of scared. Oh, the, the door was open. Whoa, what is this? But this door was definitely closed last night. Let's close it again. How about that? Okay. I'm going to put um, some of the uh, gasoline into the generator. Okay, I have refilled the generator. Time freeze. What does that mean? Time freeze. Ha. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh! Who are you? Even from afar, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meat. The figure hides its face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. How'd you get in here? I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost. If you help me attend to a certain matter. What do you say, comrade? As he leans towards me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. I knew it would interest you. Before I make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I've no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. The wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. What the hell? Is that a gun strapped to your back? How do I get one of those? Let's gossip. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for you, meat. Better hide in that hideout of yours before dark and pray for the morning light. Let's show him an item. Let's show him the plastic chick. What about the photo of a road? What's that you got there? The wolf snatches the photograph from my hand and studies it carefully. Finally, he snorts, his thick yellow spit landing on the photo. <laughs> this road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees, like all the other ones. The wolf throws the photo to the ground. Better forget about the road home, meat. Around here, all the roads lead to nowhere. Okay. Well, that's nice. Let's trade. You want to trade anything? Reputation 50. I buy weapons and ammo. 
I don't have any of that. So what about the plastic chick? Hmm, beautiful item. Perfect for a church fair. That's odd. Okay, so you're a friendly, like, NPC. If you wish to spend more quality time basking in the striking, yet natural beauty of my features before you head off to the silent forest, you will find me in my camp in the dry meadow. The wolf points to a location on my map. Well, you're here right now, aren't you? There he is. Oh, he's got two camps. This is the silent forest. So there's the dry meadow, the silent forest, and the old woods. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get moving. Make yourself at home. Um, don't take all my stuff, I guess. Well, build. I need four. How do I get more boards? Do I have to, like, chop down trees, or... What do you think? Oh, there's some logs over here. Wood logs. Yeah, we'll take that. Nails, I've got so many nails. And a stone. Okay. Looks like there's some more wood over here, though. Wood logs, search. Nails, wooden logs, stone. I can make planks out of them using a saw. <gasps> Oh, okay, let's use the saw. Oh, this thing needs fuel. I should have saved some of my gasoline for it. Okay. Let's uh, do it. Okay, so I've got six boards. Hmm, not enough fuel to do that, okay. But it keeps the logs, right? Maybe I should build a well. Yeah. There we go. Drink. Oh, that regenerates health. Nice. Okay. I understand. Uh, yeah, let's keep going then. I gotta get some more gasoline to put in the saw so I can get more planks, because planks you need for pretty much everything, it seems like. Disassembled tractor. Oh, more gasoline. That's what I need. What the hell was that? What the hell is this thing? What is it? Um... Okay... Hi, I'm just gonna take the shiny stone, is that okay? Pick up the shiny stone? Should I not have done that? It has a value of 130. What happened? Where'd he go? Where'd that guy go? I'll go after him. I don't see anyone around. Okay, if we want to go to the silent forest, I gotta keep going this way. Just like the wolf man said, who's inexplicably friendly. Uh, entrance to the silent forest. Here we are. Well, here I am. Oh, what the hell are those things? Generator, switch on. What? I just saw that chair move. Hole. Okay. Are those things going into the hole, or... What are those? Um... This place is infested with something toxic. I need to find a way to get rid of it. Sure. What the hell is all... Ow! I need to find some way to get rid of it. Well, how do we... Okay, so I can't get to the silent forest until I get rid of this toxic junk. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Matchsticks. Molotov cocktail. That'll do it, I think. 
I think that'll do it. Let's see, let's get, let's put the rope there for now. Um, is it raining? Okay, so I've got a Molotov cocktail. Do I just... Let's just throw it. Okay. I burned it up a bit. Metal door. Open. What? I need a code? To open this metal door? Hmm. How do I get it? Let's see. Is there anything to search? Egg. Examine. Something is flowing inside. The skin looks to be quite thin. Maybe I could puncture or pierce it with something. I mean, like this? Uh, yeah, well, what does it look like? Search? Embryo. What? What is the embryo? One door. Open. Locked, I need a key. What the hell? How am I supposed to get anywhere in this place? Let's break it open. Oh, it's got a lot of stamina. I won't be able to break it with just this thing. Damn. Okay, I guess we'll come back here later, maybe. Okay, I'm putting all this stuff into the workbench, actually. Because there's a lot of stuff here that I'm not so sure I need to be carrying around with me. Shiny stone, meat, embryo, I don't know. Oh, it is definitely nighttime now. Okay. Great. Let's see. Hmm. Chain trap. Now, I do want to kind of put this over here. Near this just open thing right here. Let's put it right there. If anything comes in, they'll get hit by the chain trap. All right. Barricade windows, feeling nice and safe. Would like to go to sleep, to be honest. When does this guy ever sleep? Seems like he just doesn't. <laughs> Which I think is a mistake. I think you need to have your wits about you. Okay, did I close the door? Because if not, I definitely should have. Uh, let's see. Can we barricade this? Oh no, I, I need more wooden planks. Alright, well. What's up? Break out my wooden plank. Alright, I'm ready for a fight this time. Maybe I should just go outside. Let's go outside. Ah! He's beating the shit out of me. Oh my god, he killed me. I'm ter- I'm ter- I'm terrible. Hang on, I need some water. Who is this? Wolfman again? Traitor. Oh. A man roughly my size is staying before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features through the matte visor in his, uh, visor. Don't give me crap for saying visor, please. Of his helmet. The massive helmet is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of the unnaturally pale body. Look at these portraits. These are gorgeous. Look at it. You can't really even see it because I was my stupid face is in the way. Check that shit out. That is awesome. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. Oh, so the prologue was actually that actually did happen. I was wondering how we got here. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. There's something written on the, his worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all sounds are drowned inside the helmet. 
He shrugs, then takes the huge sack off his back and drops it on the ground, revealing, revealing its contents. Let's show him the photo of the road. He wipes his left glove on his pants, takes out the charcoal from his pocket, and starts scribbling. When he finishes, he lifts his dirty hand. All roads lead deeper into the woods. Let's trade, though. What, do, what does he like? Is there anything I need? Odd-looking glowing mushroom. That seems kind of cool. A watch. That would be useful. Value 300. I don't even have anything with me. Like, that would be tradable. I've got some other stuff, but I want to kind of keep it for now. Well, thanks, trader. Thanks for stopping by. How'd you get in? All the windows are barricaded. I guess you just walked in through the front door. Time freeze. Okay. Interesting. Okay, guys. Well, um, I think that I'll do it for this first video of Darkwood. I got kind of sucked in. I ended up playing for like two hours and I didn't mean to. Um, very cool game. Uh, unfortunately not the type of series that would do well on my channel. So I don't think I can make this a series, but it was good to take a first look. I enjoyed checking it out, finally. I know I'm late, a year and a half in. But uh, the game hasn't always been in this state. It was in early access for a long time. I think the full version released last summer. Might be wrong on that. Um, and it was much more bare bones when it first released than now. Just so I hear. I don't know, obviously. But that's just what I've heard. And uh, yeah, you know, I don't normally like top-down games. In fact, I even said that in my video yesterday. These things generally aren't my bag. Which was another reason why it's taken me so long to get around to it. But uh, the atmosphere and the artwork and uh, everything in this game is pretty incredible. And yeah, I, there's a lot of mystery and intrigue with this one. A lot of hopeless, depressing... Um, world building and I gotta know what's behind that door in the underground passage 21 was the key lead to you know so the doctor has my key hmm so I've got to go back there and get it from him I guess but where is he I mean I'm I'm guessing somewhere on this map right but yeah let me know what you guys thought about Darkwood there's a lot of, um, you know, crafting and resource gathering, stuff I'm not used to playing in, like, a horror game. So it's hard for me to, like, compare to anything that I've played, but I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. So thanks, everybody, for bugging me persistently to play this, because um, I did enjoy my time. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about Darkwood. And sorry, that was bugging me. See, look, it makes that right angle, and it lines up with the... Uh, the walls. Very satisfying to look at. I'll see you guys later. Think critically.